Applied Software Advanced MEP Fabrication Series, Ad Report and C Text. The Ad Report feature within Autodesk Fabrication CAD MEP is commonly used to create a bill of materials or fixture schedule. The C Text command uses a predefined Ad Report format to place custom tags onto items within the model. These CTEXT generated tags are linked to and associated with the item. Changes to the item automatically update the attributes within the tag. Deleting the CTEXT generated tag also deletes the linked item. For example, the CTEXT command could be used to create custom tags for diffusers showing sizes and CFM. It could also be used to place custom spool tags displaying the spool name. In this exercise, You'll learn how to use Add Report to define a format for a custom tag. This tag will display the inner radius or throat radius dimension of a radius bend fitting. You'll also use CTEXT to place the custom tag. Start Fabrication CAD MEP and open addreport.dwg from the exercise folder. In the model, we have straight pieces and radius elbows. This video will show you how to generate a report to tag the throat of those radius elbows. Before configuring the ad report for this example, there are a couple of pieces of crucial information that we need to gather prior to setting the report up. The first is the item's CID number. The item's CID number can be located within the properties of the item. Select the item, right click CAD MEP properties. Under the general tab, you will see a CID and based on pattern number. These numbers will match by default. CID is what we need to keep in mind here and all of the radius bins inside the model will be based on CID4. The additional piece of information that we need can be found by double clicking on the radius elbow. It will bring up the item edit window with the dimensions tab highlighted. Here we see dimensions A, B, C, all the way through F. When configuring the ad report, we will use a print object item dimension list. That print object has indexing information with numerical values 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. In turn, dimension A is index number 1. Dimension B is index number 2. What we're looking for here would be dimension F, which in turn would be index number 6, which would give me the half width as the inner radius. For this example, the width is 24 inches our inner radius would be 12. The first step to creating an ad report is typing ad report in the command line. Once ad report is typed in the command line and the command is initiated, the, uh, the command line will prompt you to select objects. You can use your standard AutoCAD selection windows to select the items in the model. Once all the items that you wish to report are selected, the select report file window will populate. From here, you have the ability to create a new format, copy an existing format, or simply use an already created format. For this example, we'll create a new format. By selecting copy existing, the use an existing format option is now available, and I can base an ad report off of one that is already created. The text style is just an AutoCAD text style. This is what controls size. If you use an AutoCAD table, which is for versions of AutoCAD 2005 and above, it will make a table for this report, essentially producing a schedule or a bill of materials. If you uncheck this box, it will just be raw data out in the model. I'm going to go ahead and keep this at using an AutoCAD table 2005 and above. The format name is the name of your report. After it's created, it will appear in the Use an Existing Format drop-down as what it is called here. Once you have named your report, select Next. Very similar to the other reporting functionalities inside of CAD MEP, the print objects that are available in Add Report are here on the left. There's a filter query at the top that you can begin to search. If I wanted to, everything that contains size I could add. But for this instance, I only want to tag the radius of my square elbow, so I'll need two print objects. The first is CID, so I can filter out everything that is not the CID4, which is our radius elbow. 
the next print object that I'm going to add is item dimension list. Once you have all the print objects in your report, select next. The only reason that I have CID in here is because I know I want to run a filter off of it. So anytime I'm going to run a filter on a print object, I do not output the column. And I place my filter as required. I want the CID to equal 4 because that is the radius elbow. Unless the CID of an item is 4, this report will not tag that item. I always rename my print object to let myself know what I did with it. In this instance, I'm running a filter off of CID. So I right click rename on the print object and rename it. Item dimension list number one. This is going to be the print object that gives the radius value, the inner radius. It says dimension list number one, but down here we have a display data for index number. It was F, which is number six. This will produce that half width value. On the item itself, the inner radius was set to half width, which is text. I want to actually see the value. The checkbox display real values for auto data will display the actual numerical value as opposed to saying half the width. Here I can control my decimal places. I don't want any for this example. And then description will be inner radius. By pressing next, that means I'm ready to place my report. I can change how it's aligned, apply offsets, and change the color. I'm just going to select finish here and, and place the report. Rotate back to a top view. The inner radius of my items is 9, 9, and 12. So if we look at this one here, the width is 24, half the width, there's 12. and the other two radius elbows in my model. This width is 18, which gives this value 9. My report is correct. Once you have created the add report, it is now available and ready for what we call ctext. Now, ctext is a little bit different than add report. As stated previously, add report is just going to be raw, raw text in the model, not directly associated with an item in any way. Notice if I highlight the, the report, it doesn't highlight anything else. I can delete the report. None of my items were deleted. Once you have your add report configured, you're now ready to use that add report as what we call ctext. Now, ctext is going to be directly associated with the item which means if you delete the item, the tag removes. If you delete the tag, the item is actually deleted as well. By typing ctext at the command line, it's going to prompt me to select my objects. Now for this example, I'm only going to select one object. If I were to select every object in my model, I would have to run through my report setup for each item. So just as an example, I'll show you how ctext works with one item, and then we'll go as far as to put it on a button to where we don't have to see this menu anymore. Radius tag was my report. Go ahead and hit finish here. So my inner radius was 12 associated with this item here. Now, as you can see, the text is very large. So I'll go back to C text. And it acts as an on off toggle. So if I select this item again, it's just going to turn it off. So I'll come grab one of my, my radius bins. Radius tag, text height is 75, I'll set this to 1, and I'll go ahead and write that output. And you can see that the inner radius is, is now 9. And we'll get one more down here. Now, because this item was tagged before I made the modification to my text size, I have to physically remove the object text, and then I can re-tag it. So it's now been removed. I can type ctext and select my object and re-tag that item. Now you can see that this is set here. I don't want to include headings. And so as you can see now, now it only shows the radius value. It doesn't show the heading. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and remove all of the ctext that I've placed at this point. 
and we will go into CUI. CText is very beneficial. It allows you to put a reportable value directly associated with the item on the model that is not available in the standard annotation toolbar, such as sizes, levels, etc. Now, how to achieve putting that report on the toolbar is as follows. By typing CUI in the command line, the customized user interface window will populate. Scroll to the bottom and expand partial customization files. Now, down here, you, should, you can create a new toolbar. I just use the custom that's already been created. And on toolbars, I'll right click and say new toolbar inside of the custom group. Toolbar 1, I'll go ahead and rename, and we will call this ctext. So I have a ctext toolbar inside of a custom group. The next step is to create a command. Once create a new command is selected, options are available on the right hand side. There are default images within the CUI. You can select a default image if it kind of shows what you're looking to do with that C text report. You can import images. Just for this example, I'm just going to grab the scanner. The name is command 1. We will call this radius tag. The description will be an inner radius tag. The command display name. It should display the macro, but just to be safe, I always type in what I would like it to display here. This is what should pop up whenever you select this item in the command line. It should say inner radius tag. Your macro is very important, and it will always be as follows. Caret C, caret C, open parentheses. The next piece after the open parentheses could be one of two things. If you just want an add report and you don't want it to be directly tied to items, you will type add report. If you do want it to be tied directly to your items, you will type ctext. After either add report or ctext, open quotations, and you will type the name of your report. In this instance, mine is radius tag, followed by close quotations, close parentheses. I will select apply. This command is now available down at the bottom. And I can search for radius tag and I can drag it onto my CTEX toolbar. And so now I have a newly created CTEX toolbar. And on the right, you can see the scanner, which is the, the button that I just created to tag all of my radius throats. After creating a toolbar, it displays that toolbar and it gets rid of your standard Fabrication Academy P toolbar. Simply type T bar one more time and it will bring up that default toolbar. So now, here I have my inner radius tag. Behind the button is a macro that's calling for a report. And that report we've already created. We've created a filter to only tag the items that we want. So we should be able to select the button. It wants me to select my objects. I'll type all, enter, enter. I now have a tag. which is directly associated with my radius elbow as well as here and here. So the three radius elbows that I have in my model have now all been tagged with the click of a button. You can configure an add report to produce any value that you, that you like for any given item. Keep in mind, once the add report is created, you can then convert that to ctext so that way it is directly associated with items. Uh, Ctext is very powerful. Again, it, it gives you the ability to tag things on items that are not part of the standard annotation toolbar. Any dimension that you wish to tag, any option that you wish to tag, you do have the ability to tag it.